Melissa Blacker, we seem a bit directionless today, but it's a nice pick up yesterday after that rates announcement, wasn't there? Yes, absolutely. No surprise, I think, uh, for everybody, for the man in the street and also for the equity traders. Yes, um, uh, with the cu governor uh, cut there by 0.5%. Um, uh, and uh, so we saw a nice pickup, especially for the retailers and the financials and some of the construction stocks, which would be your more interest rate sensitive stocks. So we saw a nice recovery there and then um you know but uh this morning as um alicia said earlier is that we're seeing a more technical pullback um to back to technical levels that um traders are more comfortable with some profit taking happening there so we're seeing it relatively flat but that's based off the nice performance that we saw um towards the end of yesterday well we saw a, a sharply weaker rand yesterday as well heading towards that 750 level against the dollar it's retraced some of those losses today, trading around 7.44. That's in sharp, con sharp contrast to where it started the week. Do you think this is just a knee-jerk reaction to that announcement in Tobekle? Absolutely, it would be expected um, that you know because uh, it, it has an impact on the carry trades and um, what the rates are in South Africa versus rates overseas. But uh, yeah, it was just a knee-jerk knee reaction, and uh, we do expect it by next week, towards the middle of to, towards the middle or the end of next week, to recover back maybe to about the 730, 735 area. And uh, you know, I mean, uh, considering that where rates are overseas, South Africa is relatively high. Um, you know, repo rate is sitting at six and a half, when the prime rate is sitting at ten percent. So it is relatively high compared to where um, investors can um, invest overseas, where most uh, United States is near zero. And um, so we do expect um, market players to come back into the market. But also, you know, with um, inflation and the growth prospects that the governor alluded to yesterday, we do expect that, um, you know, there will be more foreign inflows into the market. And that would be uh, bode well for the RAND strength as well as, um, you know, the general market um, of South Africa. Because it's also very difficult to predict where the RAND is going to go when we don't know what the euro is going to do in the short term. Uh, we have seen some euro volatility over the past couple of days, continuing concern about Greece. And of course, we did see that package yesterday um, being alluded to between the IMF and the European Union, which could help Greece out of some of its problems if it needs to tap into that package. Yes, I think um, they announced um, perhaps um, for uh, loans to be pledged of between 20 to 22 billion euro. And um, that was well received by the markets, but that will be mainly financed, or th two thirds of that will be financed by the Eurozone and the rest by um, the IMF. So, you know, um, very good news coming out of Europe, you know, where um, the kind of clarity and the kind of, um, you, you know, the kind of clarity that the market was waiting for has now happened. As we also saw in Dubai, it seems like things are also being sorted out there with the 9.5 billion. Um, assistant that the Dubai, Dubai government is going to be giving to Dubai World and Nikhil. So, you know, if, so what um, w that all helps to the sense, adds to the sentiments and adds to the um, expectations that um, things will be sorted out. However, you know, we don't know what um, the stringent um, um, requirements will be on, the, on, on Greece um, for the loans that are going to be extended to them. And we also don't know whether the Greek um, government will be able to handle the kind of assistance and the conditions that, um, that, that that's dependent on. But um, going forward, we do expect a, a recovery from the Euro. Um, it has been oversold quite a bit, so we expect it to recover um, maybe towards um, 1.35, somewhere there, um, w w maybe within the, the shorter term. But um, yeah, but the sustained recovery is more what the market is waiting for. So do you think as we see further details of this aid packaging package and the, the stringent conditions for Greece yes, coming through, that we could see some renewed risk appetite in the market, which would of course be good for our RAND as well? Yes, absolutely. You know, I think that we saw a little bit of a translation in that, especially as far as commodities are concerned, where um, gold yesterday was about um, 1,092, now it's about 1,097, somewhere there. So we have seen some risk um, appetite coming back into the market, and, we're, and that will trans uh, translate to commodity intensive markets as well as emerging markets when, um, you know, when, that kind of, when there's alternative investments to invest in um, rather than the dollar, rather than the US treasuries, which also were not very well subscribed yesterday but you know so we would expect to see um, a, a more risk plays um, coming in more uh, a, way, a bigger plethora of um, investment choices um, are available and you know and, more, uh, and less risk is available for uh, is, is around for investors of course we saw those initial jobless claims figures coming out yesterday afternoon in the United States seems to have been well received by the market we also had Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke reiterating that interest rates will be kept low for the time being we're expecting GDP figures out this afternoon what are you expecting there and how's that going to direct markets going into next week 
I think consensus at the moment is that GDP will stay the same as last quarter, 5.9%. And, um, you know, the University of Michigan confidence is also coming out today. And that's also important figures to look at. But um, we are expecting that um, it will stay the same or maybe a slight improvement there. The risk, obviously, is that if it comes it comes in worse than expected, um, uh, you know, we don't know what will happen there because the United States has been leading us and will continue to lead us. And it's also important to look at the confidence numbers to see where consumers are seeing the country going, where consumers are seeing their financial status and, 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 they, and their expectations. So yes, definitely uh, those are figures to be, mo to be watched towards the end of the day, um, if, towards the day, end of the day for South Africa. And, uh, and those are figures that the market will take into serious consideration um, uh, taking, uh, going into next week also. And that will have a major effect on um, com commodities as well as currencies.